Hi, Hebra. Welcome back to The Daily Dose. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, this will uh, put a bow. This will finish up our uh, latest segment, and we will go on hiatus as we head into Shavuos, and we'll, we think of, God willing, other opportunities to learn and grow together. I hope you've learned something uh, from uh, these teachings over the past few months, and uh, Mir Tashem, uh, we will continue to learn and grow uh, closer to Hashem's Torah. Rabbi Lezbe Nazari Omer, Im ein Torah, ein derech eretz. Im ein derech eretz, ein Torah. If there's no Torah, there's no derech eretz. There's no worldly occupation. Im ein derech eretz, ein Torah. If there's no worldly occupation, there's no Torah. Now, the traditional understanding of this is not what a lot of people think it is, right? Torah and derech eretz is the concept of working, having, having a job, literally having a worldly occupation, derech eretz, the way of the world. It's going out, making a living. So if there's no Torah, according to this Mishnah, if there's no Torah, there's no derech eretz, right? You can't go out and make a living properly if you don't have any Torah. Why? Because you won't know, you know, the laws of, of, of interest, the laws of, of being honest in business, of, of ethics, morality, etc. When you're out there doing your thing and it becomes, you know, a dog-eat-dog world and it's a, it's a jungle. And, you know, the concrete jungle and the law of the jungle prevails and you'd step on people and so on and so forth. So if there's no Torah, you can't really have real Derech Eretz. But you mean Derech Eretz ain't Torah. And if you can't, if you don't work, if you don't make a living, well, how are you going to have Torah in your life? How are you going to be able to learn? How are you going to be able to study? How are you going to be able to, uh, you know, have Jewish education, support Jewish educa- education, dive and learn, etc. Right? You, there have, we have to have both. That balance is, is important. And that's why Rav Shamshun Fall Hirsch, his school of Judaism, of kind of modern Orthodox, like the early precursor of German Orthodoxy, modern Orthodox Judaism was called Torah im Derech Eretz. It was Torah combined with work, combined with going and getting, you know, a college degree and, and, and uh, you know, learning a trade and learning, you know, how to engage in the world. And that was a chiddush during, in those times. But we think about it in a different way. Der Heretz. What is Der Heretz? Der Heretz, Kadma la Torah. I remember I'm in like, I don't know, it's like first grade. And I remember seeing these, these posters all over my school, Ashar and Munsi. Der Heretz, Kadma la Torah. What does that mean, right? What does that always mean to us? Not, it's not about getting a job. It's about being a good person. Zaya Mensch, being a mensch, being sweet, being kind, being warm, being engaging, being understanding, being sensitive, having an awareness that there are other people in this world um, that, and it's our job to step in and be a part of this world and help people in this world and act like a Torah personality should act. Right, so that people walk around and say, "Wow, that's what a ben Torah is. That's what a bat Torah is," and it's interesting that the sixth parak of Pirkei Avos uh, really uh, is called the parak of Kinyan HaTorah, the parak uh, that deals with the acquisition of Torah. It was added on, according to Rabbi Asher Bush, and I think of other historians. It was added on to uh, Pirkei Avos. Why? Because we need to understand what it is to be someone who has Torah in their lives. When you have Torah in the very first par- Mishnah in, in this uh, parak, it says you're considered a rea, you're considered a good neighbor, you're considered beloved, you, you're beloved by God, you're beloved by people, you, you make God rejoice, you make other people rejoice, you're, you're, you're humble, you have a sense of awe, you're, you, 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 you walk around and people say, wow, what a pious, righteous, good person, a faithful person, an honest person, an ethical person, that's what it is to be a personality of Torah, a ben or bat Torah. It doesn't just mean to be a little kid, you know, that's learning, you know, all of us have the responsibility to be a ben or bat Torah. Why? Because if there's no Torah, there's no derech eretz. There's no derech eretz, there's no Torah. They, they're all intertwined. Our midos need to be of the highest caliber. And that's what makes us worthy of Kenyan HaTorah, of fully acquiring the Torah, of fully receiving the Torah, which we will all do, God willing, on Shavuot. And um, may, we be, may we be worthy recipients of all the Torah teaches. Have a wonderful Shabbos and a wonderful Yantav.